Hello, good day, and welcome to today's class, courtesy of edufes.ng. Today, we shall be looking at the surface area and volume of a cone. My name is Khabiru Abdul Kadir. Now, before we make any progress, it is very important that we know our objectives before the commencement of today's class. So our objective at the end of today's class, we should be able to know how to calculate curved surface area of a cone. We should also be able to calculate the total surface area of a cone. And then finally, we should know how to calculate the volume of a cone. So let's make progress. What is even a cone? Let us look at it. A cone is a solid shape with curved body, circular base, and a pointed edge. Now, what do we mean by a pointed end or a pointed edge? A pointed end now is now called the vertex. From what you can see in this diagram, we have the vertex. We have the height. The height is always inside the cone from the top to the bottom. We measure the height. Then we have the slanted height. One is slanted while the other one is straight. So there are two different things. Then we have the radius also. The radius is any point from the middle to any of the edges. Or any of the end. So now we will now make progress. Now let's look at the calculations involving cone. What are the calculations? There are four calculations here. The first one is the curved surface area and the formula is pi rl. But don't forget that at the end of every calculation you must always include the square units. Now the second one is total surface area and then total surface area now has to do with two different things, the area of the circular part and then the area of the curved part. So by the time you add two of them, having done your simple uh, calculation, you have pi r, open bracket, r plus l. Then always, you must always also remember the square units. Now the third one is the volume, which is very important. And the formula is 1 over 3 pi r square h. Then it has cubic units at the end of the calculation. Then finally, we have the slant edge. You can also be told to find the slant edge if it is not given. It is pretty easy. Now, all you have to do is to go back and study your Pythagoras theorem very well. So the slanted edge L here is R, the square root of R squared plus H squared, all in square root, please. So always. You should always remember the unit. Now from there, we'll now look at a very good example. And then in this example, they say a cone has a base radius of 6 cm and then a height of 9 cm. So we are told to calculate A, volume, B, curved surface area, and then C, total surface area. So the first thing you have to do anytime you are given an equation that has to do with cone, or any of the shapes, you have to make sure you draw the diagram first and then put the information supplied. Now, like what we have here in the next slide, now based on the equation they gave us, I have drawn a cone here and then the values that are given are placed appropriately. For example, we have height. Height is 9 centimeter. You can see the height there. Then the base radius is 6 centimeter, which we have there. Then what we are or what we were not given, or what we are not given, is this slanted height. That is L. So now, we are going to start with the first calculation. And the first calculation is the volume. I know the formula of volume to be 1 over 3 pi r square h. So I'll just put my 1 over 3 there. I know my pi to be between 2 over 7 or 3.142, depending on what I want to use, since I'm not told to use any one. But I prefer to use 22 over 7 in this case. Now I have 22 over 7 times my R is the base radius, which is, which is 6 centimeter. So I have 6 squared here. Yeah? And then my height is 9 centimeter. So I'll put the 9 in the, I'll just substitute in the formula. So I have 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 6 squared means 6 times 6, which I've written down, then times 9. So what I have to do in this case is to multiply all the numerators together over, I'll multiply the denominator together, I'll just put them. So having multiplied all the numerators together, I got 7128, that's 7128 over the denominator is 7 times 3, which is 21, I have it here. So by the time you divide, you have 339.43. 
that's 339.43 so i just want to leave it as a uh, 339.4 centimeter cube i don't want to forget my square unit in this case it is my cubic unit it's very important so the next one is for me to calculate the curved surface area now the formula for calculating the curved surface area is pi r l now but let us not forget that we we are not giving l from the equation which is the slight slanted height we are not giving so what we have to do now is to use pythagoras theory to find the value of l first before this formula can be used now uh, in finding the slanted edge pythagoras theorem says that the hypotenuse square is equal to the square of the sum of the two other sides that means our l square is equal to 9 squared plus 6 squared 9 squared is 81 then 6 squared is 36 when you add it 1 plus 36 you have 117 don't forget that we are not looking for l square we are looking for l so we have to bring the square to the other side which changes to square root now the square root of 117 now forms 10.82 or 10.8 centimeter if you want to leave it as a one des one decimal point so we can now go ahead and solve for our curved surface area which is by rl because we have now known l so our pi is 22 over 7 as usual our we now say times our r r is 6 times l we have calculated l and then we got 10.82 so as usual we multiply the numerator together and then we multiply the denominator the denominator in this case is just one just seven so now we multiply one one three times ten point eight two the uh, multiplication of 22 times six will give us one one three and then we have our ten point eight two when we multiply the two together we have one four two eight point two four so you now divide by the denominator which is two oh four point zero three or 204 centimeter square so the next thing for you to do is to calculate your total surface area i already know my formula to be pi r open bracket r plus l close your bracket so my pi is 22 over 7 times my r is 6 open bracket my r again is 6 plus my l which i calculated earlier is 10.82 then I'll close my bracket. So based on board maths, I have to solve the ones in the bracket first. So the addition of 6 plus 10.82 uh, will give us 16.82. We'll now multiply the numerators and then divide by the denominator, which is only 7. So by the time you multiply the two of them, now you have 2220.24. Two, two, divide by 7, you have 317.18. So if you approximate, to one decimal point you have 317.2 centimeter squared now i know we have learned a lot today so i am going to give us only one question for us to try and see and then test our understanding so now the question is a cone has a height of 16 centimeter and a base radius of 12 centimeter and then what you have to do is to find a the curve surface area b the total surface area and then c the volume Thank you very much. In the next class, we shall be having other shapes to look at. Thank you for your time.